Okay guys, so quickly before we start the video, I'm actually going to a collector's necklace to one lucky winner. It's worth around one quadrillion games, so yeah, make sure you do enter on it, guys. If you don't have a chance to win this, all you have to do is just like the video, comment your your name, be subscribed to my channel, turn on that post notification bell, and also join Dreamscape, the link is down below. There is currently 270 people online, it usually picks like 400 every single night. Also, if you actually are brand new to Dreamscape, you want to go through the tutorial and everything, and once you do that, it should come with like a referral system. You click YouTuber, and then type in Diddy Scare, and by doing that, you get yourself a free super mystery box. So yeah, if you haven't done that already, make sure you do join, the link is down below, and anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Wait, Guys and welcome back to the GSK channel. Today, guys, we are back on the number one customized PS known as Dreamscape. And guys, today I've literally just woke up. Apologies, that I look absolute trash. But yeah, we are carrying on the series where I kill every single boss in game for one hour. So that means every single boss on the boss teleports right here, and that does include every single raid. In last episode, we killed Voldemort, Vendura, OG Dragon, Red, and Andaya Blur. And yeah, the loot that we did get from that pretty much fills up the entire bank. The best loot being the raid kill. That's worth one quadrillion in game. It also is on the ultra rare drop table, so I'm very happy we did get that. We also got some other little small things. Things like an ice katana, American Pernix body, ascension crossbow offhand, a few Malavan pieces, a few elite pieces. Yeah, all the items actually do add up over time. And once I've killed every single boss in game, I'm hoping for the bank to be at least 10 quadrillion. I'm not too sure if I am pushing it right there. It all depends on my RNG. But yeah, guys, in today's episode, we actually are killing the Grudon, the Olaf, and the Necromancer. I was gonna do Revenants today, but I think I might do every single body boss in the same episode. So yeah, that is my plan right now. The Grudon does drop like full tricks. I'm not too sure on the price of that, but I haven't really seen many in game. You can also get the Gandalf staff and also the Grudon pet. Okay, this is a that I am going to kill Grudon with. We got the full Inferno Emperor, obviously, the BFG 9000, the BFG 9000 offhand, the Inferno Range Cape, the Fortune of Favor Level 3, Grow of Luck, Ava Ring Yeezys, and also the Inferno Emperor Glove. So, yeah, guys, look at our stats right now. We are looking pretty freaking OP. You actually can't use the Executive Cape or the Owner Cape at Grudon. So, yeah, that is the reason we are not wearing it today. There's not many people here. There's like one, two. Oh, and this guy said he loves the video. Thank you so much, dude. If you run down here, there is a bunch of Grudons you can kill. Obviously, with the armor I'm wearing, I can kill them ridiculously fast. So, yeah, I'm actually really curious on how many kills we do. Get. We're gonna start the timer on five kill count and yeah, I guess I'm gonna kill this for about half an hour Fingers crossed we do get any of the loose and yeah guys. I'll see you then. All right We have just passed a half an hour mark. All right, the loose so far is looking pretty nice We've got almost 2,000 souls. We also got 94 crystal keys, but that's about it I also forgot to mention we are aiming to get as many immortal fragments as possible Pretty much in the last update that is safe you collect a thousand and then use it on the altar There's a chance of winning one thousand dollars It is very unlikely that we will get one thousand after killing every single boss in game But once I am finished with this series, I think I might make like a new series on aim to get a thousand But yeah guys, obviously about 28 minutes more of killing Grudon. We are getting so many kills. We got over 300 in half an hour. So yeah, I would say I'm doing pretty well. I'm going to keep up the grind and I'll see you in about 30 minutes. Alright, okay, that's the one hour mark of the first boss. Let's have a look if we got any red drops. Oh, no, it doesn't look like we got anything. But yeah, we got 3,000 Grudon souls. That is absolutely crazy. going to open all of them right now. Look at all them keys right there. I'm actually going to PC each key. Oh, okay, so it says it might even be untradeable. Alright, I guess I'm just going to open all of them. Come on. Can we get anything good, please? No. Okay, I think the best thing we did get was a Rainbow Kai Shield. All right, I guess I can't really complain. We only opened like 10 of them, but yeah, onto the Olaf bar. If you didn't know already, the best way to kill Olaf is at the executive zone. Yeah, you can literally one hit him with mage. All you have to do is just attack it. And yeah, because the eternal key on the staff is AoE and it's multi combat, I literally kill so many at one time. Obviously, the best piece I can get is a full Olaf set, all the boots, even the Olaf scythe. So if you can get that, that'd be fucking amazing. But yeah, guys, I'm just gonna keep killing Olaf. Hopefully, you do get something good. I'm actually gonna speed up the clip right now. And yeah, I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Alright, so that is about 10 minutes. I actually did forget to start the recording timer. So yeah, let's see what we got so far. Almost a thousand Olaf souls. Jesus, that is crazy. We haven't got any rares yet. But yeah, for every single kill we do get the executive zone, we actually do collect these points. And yeah, you can actually spend these points at this shop right here. Even the purple sand but you'll have to kill a million NPCs to get that. But yeah, guys, obviously I'm just gonna keep killing the Olaf boss. Um, yeah, we seem to be doing it pretty efficiently, so I can't really complain. I think the respawn time is like every 10 or 15 seconds. So yeah, it's not too bad at all. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in about half an hour. Alright, okay, that is the five minute mark. We've got three thousand souls. I'm not gonna lie, I have been like multitasking, so I haven't really been killing as many as I could. But yeah, we have got 20 minutes more to go. I promise you, I'm gonna full on grind this. I'm gonna get as many kills as possible. Yeah, I'm just hoping we get something good. All right, there we go. We've killed one hour of Ola. Yeah, we got 4,522 souls. Let me get a price check on that. Nobody's actually replying. I'm not too sure if they're even tradable. But yeah, we're gonna confirm all the keys right now. Jesus Christ, we've got 22 Olaf keys. Obviously, you can get any of the Olaf pieces from this. Come on. We've got two Karassis. All right, I thought that was something good, but it's not. Two more. 
Um, yeah, that was pretty junk. Alright, and finally, the last boss we are killing today is the Necromancers. You can also kill these at the Executive Zone right here. The best thing you can get is Full Infernal. You can actually get the Nax, Tam, and Yix Amulet. And also a Trick Zob, so if we get any of them, I'll be very happy. Alright, we start off with 4,895 kill count. Yeah, I have killed a lot of these in the past. I actually have got a few items out of them. Yeah, it's so fast to kill them here. Like, look at that. I can kill four in one shot. So, yeah, guys, obviously, we're gonna camp here for about half an hour. Hopefully, we do get some good, and I'll see you then. Oh, shit. Okay, already we got an Infernal Kite Shield. We're only eight minutes in as well, that is absolutely amazing. Yo, shout out to everyone in the chat as well saying congratulations. Let's have a look at that. Oh, that looks so nice. I'm actually gonna get a prize check. About 200 trillion each. Okay, I'll definitely take that. We have made 400 trillion in like nine minutes of killing the Necromancer. I cannot complain with that at all. Hopefully, our RNG continues. Oh my god, we got some infernal bombs, but I don't even see where I got them. Oh, that is so annoying because I would like to see what the Yoa's say in. But yeah, not too bad at all. We have got like six minutes left. Yeah, I literally just checked the bank to see what loot we got, and I was surprised to see these. Let's fucking go, boys. Only like five minutes more to go. And then obviously, we'll do like a massive key opening. All Alright guys, that is the one hour mark. I accidentally also killed a bunch of mage graves, when you kill this one, it also attacks the mage graves over there. So yeah, not too bad, we got almost 5,000 necromancer souls. The necromancer was by far the best boss we killed so far in this series. We got 5,000 souls, we got two infernal kai shields, and also the infernal bottoms, which I cannot complain with at all. We're actually turning all of these souls into kids, we've got 24 to open. Alright, the first inventory, we didn't really get anything. We've got like four more to open, and yeah, rest in peace. But yeah guys, that's where I am going to end the video. I really do hope you did enjoy it. We've made a lot of progress this episode, obviously we got a bunch of souls right there, we're still into open. And yeah, obviously we've got two of the ultra rare drops. I'm actually very happy about the episode went. Obviously we could have sold the souls and made more money. But yeah, we decided to take the gamble and open it and got ripped on pretty much. So yeah guys, we should do John Dreams get The link is down below. There is currently like 196 people online. It is the number one customer HPS and it's growing every single day. So yeah, make sure you do join. Also be sure to use my referral code Diddyscape when you do log in. It does help me out a lot and you also get a free some mystery box out of it. And yeah guys, I appreciate everyone who watched the end. If you did watch the end, if you've seen this right now, be sure to comment and hashtag DSGang in the comment section down below guys. And yeah, that's where we're the video. If you did enjoy it, but like, and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.